Hello and welcome to Sophie Rates Your Video Game Wife Slash Husband. Also known as, this is what having extremely limited internet access due to construction work does to you. I also have a fever. Uh, I might be dying. I don't know. Uh, I'll get back to you on that one. Here is the amount of people that asked for this video. Just kidding. Um, some people did, in fact, ask for this video. Uh, it is not an original concept, however. A bunch of YouTubers have already done this. I am not creative. Do you fucking mind? I am trying to create revolutionary YouTube content. I am trying to create the kind of gaming content that's gonna change the world. So I asked people to tweet their favorite video game character slash video game wife slash husband. And I am now going to be giving those characters a rating. Each one of them are gonna have an individual rating. I'm not gonna make it 1 to 10, cause that's a lot of numbers and I don't want to get involved with all that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use D tier and then C tier, B, A, and then S, of course. It, maybe I'll use E tier, I don't know. If someone says something really fucking bad, maybe I'll just use E tier for you specifically. I'm not afraid to use E tier if I have to, let's put it that way. Also, I'm not gonna be able to do all of them because I got over like 500 replies by the time that I'm recording this video, literally like half a day after I made the tweet. So if I don't rate your character, I'm only one woman. I, I can't do it all. Also, if I rate your character low, um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Listen, I'm- I'm gonna be honest. I didn't make this to fuck around. I'm not putting everyone in S tier, cause that's- that's just not true, and I don't wanna lie, you know? This is clearly a very important list. I clearly have to put all of my heart into making this. I am not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to the people! Uh, anyway, let's get started. I know I'm just not gonna know some of these characters, and I've accepted that, cause you know what? I- I'm- I'm- I'm not. I'm not trying to deal with those energies. No, I haven't played every single video game under the sun. <coughs> anyway, let's actually get started. So there are a lot of repeats in here, but truly no one was suggested as much as Dimitri Fire Emblem. I'm saying his name like that because I don't know what his full name is because I haven't played Fire Emblem. But goddamn, if he is not the husband of 2019, I don't know what to say. Truly, he is amazing. He is tall, he is strong, he is handsome, he is rabid like a feral dog. He looks like he would hit me with his Tesla and then put it in reverse just to make sure he backs over me and hits me again, you know? And honestly, I fuck with that. Anyway, um, we're setting the bar extremely high because Dimitri, it's S tier. Alucard. He is tall, handsome, and would probably also back me over with his car. He's- he's S tier. That's just- he's- he's S tier. Amrick from Final Fantasy XIV. <sighs> we are bringing it. Do you honestly fucking think I can put him in anything but S tier? Have you seen this man? He's like 11 feet tall, and he has a really cool sword! 5'11 versus 6 feet? <laughs> Jill from Resident Evil. Not only is she a snack, but she also knows how to handle weapons. And she could also like probably throw you over her shoulder and just run in cases of emergency, which is always good to know. You know, you never know when you're gonna get attacked, but if you have Jill by your side, she can just pick you up and throw you to safety like she's launching a fucking javelin, you know? Anyway, Jill is A tier. Saber from Fate. The only reason I know that this is Saber is because the picture that I'm looking at says it is. I don't know anything about Fate. All I know is that there are like 45 versions of the same bitch. I don't know why, but that is the reality that we live in, I guess. Anyway, cloning is immoral. Since I literally know nothing about the character, uh, she does have kind of a nice design, I guess. I like the cape and the crown and the sword, I guess. Uh, I'll, I'll give her like a C. I don't know, I'm pretty indifferent. I don't know who this is. I know she's from Xenoblade. Uh, she looks like she's 10, so... Akechi from Persona 5. I didn't finish Persona 5. I don't know much about this character, but I met him, and he was really kind to me. And we had a really insightful conversation, so I don't know. I like him. Pretty cool. B tier. Mr. Libido from Yagaza. <sighs> Absolutely, 100% S tier. God tier. SS plus. Wait, hold on. You can't put your own 14 character in here. That's not how this game works. Stop trying to cheat the system! She is really cute though, so that's an S tier. Majima from Yagaza. That's an S tier, baby! Linka from Atelier. Linka may be dumb as rocks, but you know for a fact that she would fight literally anything to protect you. And if that is not the sign of a great wife, I don't know what is. She literally works as a fucking bodyguard!
Lord. Amazing. I would absolutely put Linka in S tier. However, she's already happily married to Marion. Catalina from Grand Blue Fantasy. I don't know anything about Grand Blue. Uh, I don't grow these crops, but she looks like she could whoop my ass with one of her hands tied behind her back. Or maybe even both. Yeah, it's gonna be an S tier for me, dog. She does have stupid titty armor, though. But I mean, being a female character in a fantasy setting, like, what can she do? We can't blame her for this. It's not her fault. Tifa from Final Fantasy VII. Again, could beat the shit out of me. Automatic S tier. Now you may be thinking, Sophie, I'm noticing kind of a pattern here. You keep putting the characters that will probably beat the shit out of you in S tier. What's up with that? And in my defense, I... Lightning from Final Fantasy XIII. I think Lightning's a big old cutie. She also probably just does not give a shit about you. She's a lady that has her priorities. I could give Lightning like a solid B tier. Dante from Devil May Cry. I don't even think I need to say anything, honestly, that's an S tier. What can I say? I'm predictable. It's called having a type. Raihan from Pokemon Sword and Shield. He's absolutely adorable. Immediate S tier. I have not stopped thinking about him ever since I finished Sword and Shield. He's absolutely adorable. His droopy eyes? S tier? His cute hair? S tier? His smirk? S tier? His little fang? S tier? The fact that he's just always on Snapchat? S tier. Wait, what the fuck? I just- I keep putting everyone in S tier, what's happening? I- I- I don't- This isn't planned, I'm not doing this as a bit, I just keep fucking- I just keep putting everyone in S tier! Okay, I- I have to be a little bit more strict starting now. I'm gonna be more serious starting right now. I can't keep putting everyone in S tier, I'm not that simple. Please from Final Fantasy XIV. She's really cute, I actually really like her design. It's honestly a shame that she's not more relevant. Solid B tier. Axel from Kingdom Hearts. I love him. He's great. He has a bunch of stupid lines, but that only makes him better. A tier. Kurisa from Steins Gate. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know all that much about Steins Gate, but she has a really good design. I, I, like, I really like it. Don't know that much about her, but just her design alone is enough for me to put her in A tier. Connor from Detroit Become Human. This is a bit of a curveball. I think Connor is a decent husband. He does have a lot of, you know, robot racism to deal with though, which could, you know, potentially put a bit of a cog in the relationship, but, um, uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll give him a C. Gammy from Street Fighter. This is a bit of a tricky one, because I'm not a huge fan of her design, but she is cool and she's also a blonde, so I'll give her a solid B tier. Lara Croft. I mean, she's cool. Kinda plain though. She's fine. Uh, B, B, B tier, I, I guess. C? Maybe? No, I'll give her a B. Bayonetta. S tier, baby! I mean, come on. Yeah, she's like nine feet tall. Do you think that's gonna stop me? Listen, I will climb that lady like the little spider monkey I am. I got a lot of 2B and A2. And although both of them have S tier designs, absolutely. Are they good wives? I don't know. I think they have a bit too much on their plate, you know? They don't have time for you. Who the fuck do you think they are? They got bigger things going on. Kinda just feel like, you know... They wouldn't really give a shit. <laughs> Held up from Fire Emblem. I like cash in my head to my ass. Do the dash, can you make it go fast? B Belial? B B Belial? Baby Bell Cheese? I don't know this man, but I got one glimpse of his cleavage and that was all I needed. What can I say? I'm a simple woman. S tier. Is, is that. Is that Minecraft Steve? S tier. Not this from Final Fantasy 15. Haha! <laughs> yes. Wait, there's a, there's a picture of Toad. Well, that's... It, where, where, where did... Why does he have a little comb over? What is he... He looks like a, he looks like a flesh-colored tomato! S tier. <laughs> it's really fucking sending me right now that someone replied to this tweet with Genesis. <laughs> yes, I too enjoy Gak's Final Fantasy self-insert character. <laughs> that being said, both Genesis and Gak are S tier. Kiryu from Yakuza. Okay, this is gonna be a hot take. I might get crucified for this one, but I'm gonna put Kiryu in A tier. Now, okay, okay! Before you beat the shit out of me, the only reason I'm putting Kiryu in A tier is because I have to put Majima in S tier. And to me, personally, Majima's just better. Kiryu, still a top tier man though. He's still absolutely A tier. He's not feral though. Ishtola from Final Fantasy XIV. Immediate S tier. No, you know what? Queen tier. Nope, not even that. She's god tier. Good character, good design, really cool. Love her. 
Literally perfect. Brings a tear to my eye. Love this woman. Louis from Code Vein. He was S-tier, you know. <laughs> Until he fucking friendzoned me! <laughs> Lady Maria from Bloodborne. Another great example of a bibbidi bobbidi boobidi please beep my shit in wife. Love her. S tier. Mithra from Xenoblade. I know literally nothing about this character. All I know is that I get people telling me I sound like her on pretty much a weekly basis. I think she's cute? She's got some good color coordination going on. Uh, I think her outfit's kinda lame though. I'll give her a B. That's gonna be all for this time because this recording is getting very long and kind of out of hand. I'm sure plenty of people will let me know that I have horrible taste in the comments below, but at the end of the day, I still had fun, so, you know, what does it really matter? Anyway, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.